Hello again, everybody. Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MovieBigs.com and author of the MovieBigs.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director, looking at some of the new features in version 19 of the program. A nice new feature that's been added to the library of title templates is a category of templates that CyberLink is calling Motion Graphics. We'll find them by going over here to the title room, clicking on that T, and then going to the subcategory here of Motion Graphics. Now, motion graphics are not new, but the ability to edit them is new. So we're going to select one here, a simple one. That's actually a pretty good one right there. We'll drag it down to our timeline here to uh, track two right above this graphic here of a ship. I'll move the playhead so you can see the title. There it is. And uh, let's open it up. I'm just going to select it and you can either select it and go to the designer button here along the top of the timeline, or you can just double click on the title on the timeline to open it up. Don't worry about this warning that there are a limited number of editing options. There's some unique editing options too, to motion graphics. So let's make this title bigger so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to play it through so you can see the animation. Let's pull the playhead back and you can see these little squares sort of dance around and the text sort of dances around. Pretty cool, that's the motion, that's the animation. So I'm going to click on the stop button here so I can get back into editing. There we go. And if I were to select this block here, you notice that I can change the colors of each of those little squares. That's one of the options. So let's go ahead and change that blue one to green, for instance, the white one to yellow, and the orange one to red. So you can change these. You also, of course, can edit your text. And you can see there are three blocks of text. We can choose which one to edit from this little drop down menu here. So where it says your title here, a little bit different than editing a typical title template in the program. We'll call this San Diego. We can change the subtitle here to on the ocean. And then the part that says by Cyberlink, we can say with Steve Grissetti. You see I have options, of course, for changing the font, for changing the color of each one of these separate blocks. And then under object settings here, you can control its position and its width and height. You notice there's no keyframing. There's no way to create an animation or any of the more high level things you can do in editing a standard template. So there are some limitations, but you do have these cool options to get in and kind of change the individual elements and still maintain, we'll click OK, and still maintain that motion graphic element. So let's play this. And here's how our modified motion graphic title template looks. Pretty cool. That's new in version 19, a different kind of title template, and it's available in the titles room here in CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. Now, if you want to know more about this program and how to do step-by-step -step how to edit, create graphics, create titles, and create special effects, you want to be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the program step-by-step, -step, check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grusetti. I wrote the book, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.